Hello everyone and welcome back to my Vanilla Plus mod pack. I hope you guys enjoy episode 8. In the last episode, we set up our little skeleton farm. We got started in that new... Oh my god, stop giving me infinity. <laughs> we got started in that new mod with... Uh, I think it's called Mob... Uh, what is it called? Mob... Oh man. Uh, spawner... Mob Spawner Plus or something like that? I don't know. It's like a... It's a it's a mod pack that kind of like lets you mess around with, the, uh, with spawners and lets you kind of use them and, and put them in, in ways that you want to actually use them. So it, it gives mobs the ability to drop their own spawn eggs and I set up a farm using that very ability so I got actually really lucky finding a skeleton spawn egg which is exactly what I wanted at the beginning so I can get a bunch of bone meal but right now what I'm doing is I would love to get an iron golem spawn egg so what I'm trying to do right now is re-roll and what we'll probably be doing for quite a while is re-roll for looting on a sword or maybe it fits on the axe and uh, we'll try and kill some golems with that because it'd be very very nice to get or we can even maybe get it on a bow which would probably be pretty good. This is what we're going to be doing for the beginning of this episode I just want to keep re-rolling until we get that looting buff because it's already like a 4% chance which is quite high but golems are a little bit on the rare side of things so it's a it's a little difficult to get so there might be some golems around now yeah, I, already, I already see one already but um there aren't all the time so if I could get the golems that I already get like the little bit and then have looting on whatever I kill them with that would be quite perfect but it's gonna take a little while to get that looting so we're gonna be re-rolling for a little while just trying to get looting maybe looting too like a good looting you know not something like really really bad or anything so you know not not like looting one i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna try and get like looting three or something on a sword or if it fits on the axe that'd be perfect looting one <laughs> before i even stop talking now is looting one worth it is the thing looting one is not terrible but i don't know what the rest of the trades are but it would be could be better i guess 9 18 27 it's only 27 no no no. actually that's not true it, it would be it, it would definitely be cheaper if i get a higher looting so i'm gonna try and get a higher one because I would have to multiply it again and again and again. So if I could get anything higher than looting one, I would be fine with that. As long as it's not like super, super expensive, I'm okay with it. But let's keep doing this. This will be the start of today's episode. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. It'll be very fun. If we can get that spawn egg working, then we'll get an iron golem farm working. And essentially the same way that we were doing the rest of them. But we can automate this one the same way we do normally with our, our village like farms and stuff like that. So I'm going to just kind of figure it out when I get there. But for right now, it should be working. So I'm just going to get the looting and we'll keep going. All right. So we didn't immediately get what we wanted. And I didn't even realize that I can actually oh actually this isn't even that's why i don't have these guys here i'm probably gonna move this guy and this guy when i when i, when I, when I have the time but uh actually i could probably just move him over one and it would be even and have this as the two block in the middle that'd be perfectly even if actually if i just move him so i'll do that later but i got the fortune tree the fortune three trade for 45 emeralds which seems like a little expensive but i wanted to lock it in just in case i was gonna use it so i was like okay i'm probably gonna need it later just in case i'm gonna i'm gonna get that now the other thing i want to do though is now i'm gonna have to go into this area Area and actually go mine out this stuff because I need more spots for villagers to actually be held. I don't have spots for that yet right now, so I need to make the area again. And if I'm not mistaken, it's like this, I think, and like that. It's gonna have to be decorated very, very much, but we're not at that point yet. We don't have enough of the materials to actually do that. I'm not even sure how I want to do that yet. But what I need to do right now is actually see how I did things on the other side. So one, two, three is the end of the villager one. So including the wall, one, two, three. Let's go mark that out. So I'm gonna just break this like that. And and that should give me a good idea of how I set up the other one. So one, two, three into the middle. So there, I think it was like this essentially, right? Like this is exactly how I have the other side. Is a villager right on the edge or is there not a villager on the edge? No, there's a block and then the villager. But essentially this is the pattern. We're going to be marking this all the way across. I need to go make the other door before I miss it. But uh, yeah, this is what we'll be doing today's episode. We'll be doing a little bit of grinding, a little bit of just kind of getting things working, hopefully. And uh, yeah, we'll try and get all this set up for you guys soon. I'm just trying to get that one trade. If we can get it now, that'd be amazing but you know i mean if we can't get it right now that'd be fine but uh this is the goal of today's episode is to get that looting try and get the the iron golem spawn egg and if we can set up that actual farm uh before the end of the episode and we just gotta set it up pretty simply it's not gonna be that hard either uh we just gotta up the number and then have it like auto going all the time and we can very easily set it up into a way that it'll auto collect these things and stuff like that we can just do it like the normal vanilla way and they can auto kill them with the um with the stuff anyways right that's not bad it'll be it'll be pretty easy to do this i'm hoping hoping for it to do but of course we have collectors so we have even more options on how to collect the items that drop but we'll figure that out later but right now let's mark out this area
Okay, we had to make a new area because we ran out of spots in the other one. We got that um that looting, no, not the looting trade. What, what trade did we get over there? I don't even remember what trade we got over there. But we got another trade that we locked in and we, I think it might've been fortune actually. And so I was like, okay, it's finally time to make the next section of villager spots. And we finally got that done. It took us a little while. We worked through the night and I, I think this is set up in exactly the same way over there. We kind of organized a little bit better, but then eventually we'll actually clean this up. But for right now, I think this is pretty set and let's keep going back into the villager re-rolling. This is taking a lot longer than I wanted to, but if we can actually get it, that'd be great. But if not, that's fine. Maybe we'll shift uh, episode plans to something else. Did you change? No. Maybe we'll do something else if we can't get this done anytime soon, because I would love to get uh, a looting, but I I don't want to get looting one and like a really crappy trade. I would love to get something higher than that. But if I get another looting one after this, I might just keep him and we'll, oh my God, and we'll work on something else after and maybe we'll just get that one and combine it and whatever. Uh, oh my God, so touch again now. Oh, that's it's perfect. Okay, let's keep going. I'll show, you, I'll show you guys once we actually get to the looting trade. All right, well, while it's not what we exactly wanted, I can take a looting one book. I think I can do that. It'll up the amount of, of stuff that we get anyways, even just a little bit. I'm gonna make it a looting two book and then we're gonna call it there and try and get some iron golems to die. So maybe we'll get the spawning and get kind of lucky. It'll be fun to do that like today, but I guess we'll see. If we don't get it on this roll like of, of mobs, I'm either way, I'm still gonna make the farm for it and then we'll go back and see if any of the golems respawned. And yeah, we'll see. So let's try and get one more, which means I need to go I need to trade some wood. I don't have enough stuff right now to go do this. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of this. I don't want to get rid of all the spruce that we got, but I'm going to, because I'm going to use it. And I, bet I also don't want to get rid of all the cherry that we got because I'm going to use it. So currently spruce is on the chopping block, which is fine. I'm going to need all these blocks anyways. Eventually we'll come back and, and get more. I, I think we just got to set it into the, the hoppers anyways. So eventually we'll do that. But for right now, we'll just get rid of it. So there we go. Let's do some trading and let's get another book and then we'll get out of here okay so now the moment of truth can we apply looting to a diamond at can we apply looting to an axe in general? We cannot. It has to be applied to a sword. So that's what we're going to do here. I think I'm going to make... Should I make a diamond sword? I guess I should I should make a diamond sword. I'm going to make a diamond sword with looting. That's probably the plan. I don't want to waste too many diamonds, but we're going to do this for a sword. I'm going to put the looting modifier on it. If we can get another looting modifier, that'd be great, which it's not expensive. But this could be our like diamond sword for the end game. But what we can also do is get one of our mending books, which actually, do we have them on us? Did we keep the book? in our inventory or did we get rid of them? I do not remember. Oh, it's these ones. These ones are here. Mending and breaking. So mending is here. So let's apply mending to the sword. Mending's on that sword. We can go repair it actually whenever we want to because we have the skeleton farm. So that's good. And then um, we should probably do that to one of our pickaxes. I don't... Do we still have that diamond pick? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, do we still... still got it. Efficiency 2 on there. Let us take that and if we can get another mending book we'll apply it to that but for now this is fine I'll, I'll take the sword it gives me a good amount of attack damage that's that's okay okay but what we're gonna do right now then is go back to the villager trading post and with our looting one sword go try and kill one of these guys so it's gonna be a little difficult because we have it on a sword not on like an axe or anything is there any ear i think there was a guy here wasn't there there's an iron golem somewhere over here let's go get him out if we possibly can and try and lure him into a spot where we can hit him with our sword so where is he okay Okay, where is he downstairs? Oh, that might actually be better for us. I think he's downstairs. Is he downstairs? I swear to God, I saw him on the map. Oh, he might be upstairs. That's probably where he's at. Let me then sling out of here. <laughs> okay, so he's probably outside. I think I saw him la when I was building the other night. So let me go get him really, really quickly. Oh, okay, he's in here. Okay, actually, this is even more perfect because now I can actually, I just need to actually block off his exit. So I need to get this sorted here. I need to not let him be able to get on there, which I don't even know if he can because he might be too big. Uh, okay, so there. Are you gonna get on a block and try and get me? It would be great if you didn't, please. So there we go. That's perfect. All right, uh, did we get it? No, it doesn't look like we did. Can you actually just stop bouncing <laughs> for a hot second? There we go. Okay, so no, we didn't get the spawning from him, which is, which is sucked, but that's okay. But let's look at the map again. Is there another golem around here somewhere? There's a bunch of library. All our guys lined up over there. It looks so cool, uh, but there's nothing left. So let's go look at some other farms or some other <laughs> farms. Let's go look at some other villages and see if there's anything there to get. <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. There's no more iron golems anywhere else. Oh my God, are you kidding? Okay, well, that that's a little, that's a little sad. That, that sucks a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, what we're gonna do now is make the farm for the iron golem and then we can go farm more later. So we're gonna go back down here and make the farm near this one. I think it's a good idea to have them around the same chunk. And since we already have a few loaded in this area, let's use them. So this goes north, I think. Uh, so is this, which one's north? This way's north. So if I go north, I think it loads these four chunks. I think we're, actually, is it that four chunks? Uh, we're in the bottom left chunk. So if we go north, 
and the east. This way is our other chunk. So this, we're in the bottom left chunk. So these are our four chunks we can use here. So if I want to make the farms, I want to make them here. So like this one fits perfectly in this one. So we're going to go over here to make the next one. I think that'd be a great idea. So we're going to go over to the next one and make another little farm for these guys. The only good thing is that we don't have to worry too much about them kind of falling in the area. We just need to make another farm like this one, which is this little skeleton farm. And uh, we should be perfectly okay to not have to worry about it too much. We just got to go like chill with it. You know, it should be fine. Um, we can use the same wall even like we're probably going to do right here and use the same kind of width. So it goes all the way over there. Let's uh, keep going down. I think it's like, what is it? It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And where are we here? Uh, no, we're a little farther than that. I think it's like nine, eight and then nine, maybe here, something like that. Let me grab a torch out. Where are we here? Ah, perfect. Okay. So this is the width of the area. So this is also the wall. So if we want to do that just to mark it and then close that, it is off right now. As you can see, the, the skeleton farm is a little off. Um, I just need to come into here and flick the lever once whenever I want to turn it on. I just wish this had a little bit longer of a distance. Yeah, I wish it was kind of closer, but that's okay. But there we go. So what is this distance here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is nine. Let's just make it in that other area. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then let's do the rest. Uh, I still got to apply mending to this. I would love to do that so we can get the skeleton farm working for a reason. But uh, I think what we're going to do just, just so we don't waste this pickaxe completely, which we can buy another one, of course, but I would rather apply like mending to it or something. Let's just make some other ones or see if we have any doesn't seem like we do god that's full that is that is such a full inventory <laughs> okay and there we go i think that is set for our iron golem farm we're gonna have a three by three opening in the middle because i think they can fit in i think that's the most optimal way to have them kind of fall we'll set it up in a second but we just gotta put the egg in there once we actually do get it but what we're gonna do right now is go to set up the bottom so back down the ladder we're gonna connect those rooms together so all we gotta do is kind of go back here so this is where the other connection is we're gonna go and go this direction so this is the center of that room so so this should also be the center of the other room, which is what I made where I made the area. So I just need to go mining this way and I should about hit the area I just mined into. I don't I don't know if I actually mined all the way down, but we, we got pretty close. So let's go open that area up and we should be good to go. Once we have the egg ready, we should be perfectly fine to actually use it. So did we mine low enough to do this? I don't think we did. I think it was really close though. Oh, actually, no, it's right here. Here it is. Okay, so perfect. All right, so this is where the golems will fall. They could fall still with with uh, hoppers underneath them, which of course, once we get, you know, like <laughs> once we get an area for this and actually get the hoppers working and everything, it should be fine. Uh, I think once we get this all set up, like we can use as much iron as we want to since that's what the hoppers are made of, right? So we can set this up with actual hoppers into a chest and use the tesseract to actually send it back upstairs. Or we can just have the inventory trims because honestly, that's not a terrible idea. It's actually still pretty good to use. But you know, we'll see how that works and see what we do. But first, let's keep mining out this area and let's just keep, keep going at it. Let's expand this room a little more. All right, so with all of that there, we're probably gonna put some glass just to make sure that it works, just to see it all. But we need to put some signs because we need to put some lava. So we need to put some signs here and some signs up there so the water doesn't flow in. So let's go set up the signs up top and then we'll go set up the signs up on bottom. I don't know if we have enough lava on us. We have, actually, I think we only need one bucket if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't think we need any more than that. And the water, we need a little bit more, but we can duplicate that, so that's okay. Uh, so let me get actually the water out and let's make an infinite water source so we can really quickly duplicate this a little bit more. And then we can refill our backpack and then be perfectly fine. So let's do all of this stuff real fast and then set it back up. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that should let the water flow properly. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other one. I'm going to put the water there. I might want to remove this before I finish this off. So I'm going to get the last bucket and then clear out this block here and then grab that last bucket there. And then if we just grab the last bucket in the corner, we should be perfectly fine. Everything should flow into the center. So that's perfect. All of them should be in here. They don't really need a, a dark area. So I'm just not going to do that. They should be perfectly fine in a lighter area because they're spawning. There's a spawner anyway. So none of these things need dark areas no matter what. But um, it's nice to have them in dark areas, right? Like that one on the left is fine. But here we are. So that should let the golems fall into the lower areas, which is down here. And then what we should be able to do is put some lava in everywhere, but I guess how, how tall are they? They're three tall. So we need lava here, right? So we need the actual signs a little lower. So we're going to put this here on 
this or on this back wall and we're gonna put the signs there i think i would love to decorate this a little bit better but that's fine i'm gonna just put the signs there so if they're three tall the lava should be on this block right so i need to get out some more signs which actually i have i have a dark sign for some reason i have one extra and now we need to just make a few more which is this enough to make uh no i need another three actually after that let's do that really quickly so actually if all goes well we should be able to grab out one lava bucket and then put it in the corner and then let it flow along the edges and that should be done that's our that's our iron golem farm we just this isn't gonna fill out but that's okay and then the the items will drop down here i cannot ever break those because they're all based on that one so i need to keep those there so that's a little precarious so that's okay we should leave it there uh, i'm actually gonna take one of these keep it out and as a water bucket in my inventory but uh yeah so that's working nothing should go wrong here nothing else is flammable even the signs aren't flammable so all we gotta worry about is them falling in here and then we're gonna cover up this area probably with glass just to make it look a little nicer but that back one will be a solid wall or just that solid block there so we can actually just make sure that stays um it's a little more secure like that and uh yeah let's do this and let's light up the area a little bit more this is ready this is completely completely ready to actually work so all i gotta do is actually get the spawner key set up into it so once we get it actually working we can you know set up a good way to do it i guess what i'm gonna do is probably set up a door on these areas just because i i might as well oh look a solid block door that's pretty good the spruce one's not bad so if i just put the door there i can get into here and get in out get in and out whenever i need to is this in the center yes it is so good i can do this and then i can put the door down which lets me get to that lever a lot easier so i know where the to, where to turn them on and turn them off that's very useful so i can put a lever on here already too and what i'm gonna do is get out my spawner key which should be in there it is okay so if i just grab that the count is on very high the speed is on very fast the range is on default and the spawner is on and that's good so once we get that set up that should work and that's perfectly functioning so that'll once we actually get the key that'll be working properly so let me just uh take out this extra section this this is set up this is set up really well all we gotta do is actually get that egg uh, and of course we can use that for like any other thing should we want to but i think for right now that's that's fine we're gonna go try and get more iron golem kills and if we can get the egg that'd be perfect but uh, of course if we don't that's perfectly okay as well i'm gonna just kind of put a lot of this stuff away so we can use them as building material later i'm gonna put the raw iron in here i keep placing more torches in here because it's usually in my offhand i took it out already uh but i, I can put them back in that's fine all right so let's melt that iron let's leave the copper leave the lapis and i guess let's get out of here see if there's any more spawn at the village retreating post and let's go do some farming shall we Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it seems like we're getting quite unlucky with the iron golem drop rates. I'm not getting it. It's 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 a little difficult. It's it's a little hard. I know it, it's still 4%, but after so many skeletons that I killed and, like, the other things that I already got, which is amazing, I, I can't believe that I'm not getting a golem one, which kind of sucks. But it's hard to get them to spawn unless you make a spawner or something of the sort, right? So I don't know what I would do to upgrade those rates. I like... Are these connected? Are these accidentally connected? I, I, I don't know. Maybe just making, like, a simple iron farm for this would be a good way to do it. I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, it's definitely possible. I know I got a bunch of books at some point. Where are those? Those are... There they are. I'm gonna make the rest of the... Of the rest of the bookshelves, I guess, right? I don't have enough wood in there. That's great. That's perfect. That sounds about right. There's no wood in there. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of these maple logs and use them instead. Up, 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 uh, and then there we go. And that should give me more than enough for these bookshelves. There we go. That's 25. I think that's exactly how much I need, actually. Not mistake mistaken that i need exactly 25 or or something like it um uh, so one two three ba, ba, ba. so let's finish this off and i'm not sure what else to do honestly i think i'm i'm getting pretty close what do you got magic power 16 is that like level 30 it is level 30 you already have stuff on it you have stuff on it so i can't in even check to enchant but yeah i'm breaking three efficiency reroll enchantments is one lapis if i have experience points i'll leave those there but that is set up properly now i like having this done so i guess it didn't need even <laughs> nowhere near that many books but that's fine i got enough of the thing what we might work on later which I'm not even sure where I want to do this is as I want to make another base somewhere in another location something bigger something much nicer something more permanent I just don't know where I'm going to do that or how I'm going to do that or what building materials or in what biome I haven't really decided on that yet because I can go anywhere is the thing I can be in any biome I can be in any location there are other places that have iron golems and there's other villages that have iron golems but I'm really I don't know I'm worried about going to those places it feels like they're really far and it would be a waste 
I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do to end off this episode, since I don't think I'm gonna get the golem, but if I do see any on the way, I will go get some. Uh, I'm gonna go to this waste dump that's really far out here and make sure that there's not a golem that spawned here, uh, which there hasn't so far. It's because they need to be like in danger, right? So I'm not gonna immediately find one just wandering around. It is a little bit more rare, a little bit more work than that. So, you know, it's fine. But yeah, what we're gonna do is go travel south, I think. We're gonna get out of here and go travel south. And to end off the episode, oops, that's the wrong item. <laughs> uh, we're gonna end the episode doing that. We're gonna go explore and go see if we can find some more villages because if we can we can find more golems or if we can find a good biome to live in that'd be also pretty fun i don't know i don't have an eye on a biome right now i would love to build in all biomes just to build like homes and stuff like that just you know to practice and to build some big scale stuff but um there's nothing in my mind right now that was like i really want to do this already and i really want to build in this biome because i've thought about it for the longest time the redwood biome is a biome that i've always wanted to build in and i have built in before it has been really fun to do and i love i love that biome so much because i love the big trees it's very fun to do that and i want to build like a tree house in there later and stuff like that but for right now i think that's that's where we're gonna call it on that red wood biome so i want to go somewhere else i want to build something somewhere nice you know like this is a cool biome here like it's a big open flat area there's a nice it's a rocky meadow it's very cool looking uh there's a magnolia woodland which is that that looks really cool too i love the different wood types they have i don't know where i want to settle after this you know i'm just kind of like going around there might be something look there's a village that's also something i mean of course i can still like end up next to villages if i really really wanted to but of course i don't have to because the villages are not completely necessary anymore also especially since they i can teleport to them that makes it so much easier so much nicer first thing to check in here you don't even have a golem you're not even aggroed enough to have gotten a single golem there's not even enough villagers to spawn one that's kind of crazy there's just leather gear in there that sucks you have a waystone <laughs> i would love a waystone in here is that a pillager outpost might be is there not a waystone in this village there might not i don't see a roof for it there's probably not a waystone in here which is sad but that's okay there's another village over there actually a really really big one so if i if i do this it's this way, this way? Yeah, this way. Past the Redwood Forest. Let's go exploring a little bit more. <laughs> See what we can find. Found a Waystone as well as a Golem. So let's go aggro this guy really, really fast. I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, do that really quickly. Please don't get on my site. Oh man, please. Yes, there you go. Perfect. All right, so you should come over here. We should be able to kill him with the sword. So if I get lucky, right? The, the, the thing is, if, if I get lucky, I get the egg. If I don't get lucky, I don't get the egg, which is fine. If I don't get it with this guy. But if I do get it with this guy, God damn it. <laughs> I didn't get it with this guy. Oh, there's another one actually. It's right there. Uh, let me get to a spot where I'm a little more safe and let's aggro him. There we go. This is a cool village though. I like the aesthetic of this village. It's very, very nice. Ooh, look at B. Why are you over here, B? You're a little high. I don't like that. I don't like you being over there. <gasps> there it is! Oh my god! <laughs> Yes! Oh my god, we actually got it. I was, like, wondering at this point if it was even possible. I was like, maybe it's not possible. Maybe we gotta... Maybe we can't get it. I got it. Oh my god, we actually gonna end the episode with actually the spawn egg. That's so sick. Okay, locking it in. It works. It functions. But this guy needs to... They, I need to get them to not spawn up there. <laughs> That's an issue I didn't think of. I didn't think that that would happen. But as soon as he leaves, too, it spawns. Huh. Do you need a flat surface that's not full of water? You might need surface surface of water. Oh, he doesn't even fit. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, I need to I need to adjust this farm. I really need to adjust this farm. I didn't even think about them not fitting. It will kill this guy. And I, I think it said right click to get the egg back, but I'm really nervous. This is gonna burn the thing. Okay, so what I need to do. Oh, I, I think I know what to do. Let's, um, first let's try something else so we can get them down. I need to make some trap doors. Uh, so we're gonna get some oak trap doors and we're gonna make them and put them around the spawner. So we just need to put one on pretty much every side. But for right now, I think I'm okay to be like here and safe, you know? Uh, actually does that, I don't know if that counts. I need, I think I need it on the top, which yes, that does count because that let him spawn and it pushes him down. So perfect. So it counts as a spawning area. I can't put it on there cause it's not gonna work, but that's what they need. They need more room to spawn. Uh, oops. Oh, I got the golem egg back. Oh my god. Holy shit. That scared the shit out of me. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Uh, so what it's telling me is that I need an area that doesn't have water because I need an area that's going to let them spawn and walk around. So if there was an area that wasn't flooded, they would be able to spawn. But the other thing is that I, I need to be able to... Why are you doing stuff? It's just, oh, it's just spawning an area effect. Okay, that's 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 what it's doing. I need to... Let me get the lava out of there, actually. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really scared if I accidentally put that lava somewhere. So what I'm going to do is let that go. And then I'm going to break this and then take it back with me. So it needs to be higher. Oh, I used the wrong pickaxe. Oops, that's bad. That's my bad. Oops, I, I have a... Oh, hello. What do you got? Whoa! <laughs> uh, I don't have these books, though. I'm sorry. Oh, damn. I forgot about this guy. I can pick him up and take him with me, I think, if I had an open hand. I can keep him. 
I can hold on to him if I really wanted to. I can't hold him for forever, but I could take him. Music disc. I'm breaking. Wait, what was that? I'm breaking four, right? That's yes. I'm breaking four, and I'm breaking uh six or no efficiency six on a pickaxe. That would be amazing. So I don't have those trades, but if I had a spot for you, I could actually pick you up and put you in a hole somewhere. Can I put you in a hole somewhere? Uh, I'm gonna break down a hole here. You go in the hole. I will come back and see if you're still there. But yeah, okay. I broke the the spawner. That was my bad. Oops. Uh, oops. Don't do that. Okay. So we should have one more. So we have another spawner. I'm gonna actually also just in case put the other pickaxe in my inventory because I'm worried about accidentally doing that again. But there's a silk touch pick. I have the egg. I'm not putting it in my inventory because I don't trust myself with it. So we need to find a spot to do this properly. I think I need to actually raise the roof for this. And I need a spot for them to spawn. So I think what I'm gonna do... Well, first of all, I need to take those off so they can fall down. That's that's the first thing, which actually they're not falling, which is an issue. Why aren't you falling? Okay. The other guys. Oh, the other guys just not moving because there's, there's like a water flowing this way. So if I pushed him into the, the flow of the water, he should be able to go down. Um, So you need to go down there, please. I'm going to let you down there. Please be safe. Uh, Let's uh take out some more water because I don't know what to do right now. I need to fix this. So obviously the water would be great. <sighs> but I can't do it all the time. So let's see, let's see. So I do need a three wide area for them to even go through. So I need to think about that. So one, two, two, three. It needs to be three wide. So that means the spawner has to go up here. At the least, it needs to go up here. So if I put this here and I get my key out and then I put this on very high, very fast and save. And then I put the golem spawn egg in there. I should be able to see some spawns, right? It should spawn some golems. It's not gonna spawn any. This is, this is the issue here. I need to have have areas where there's ability to spawn so obviously it can't spawn there i need to have them spawn in a different area huh so is this like if i put a, a floor here it'll spawn there which means that what if i upped the range oops uh oh what if i up the range on the um god damn that scares the shit out of me uh on the on the farm if i maybe put far will they be able to reach the ground i'm gonna end up like destroying this key but already looking at it can they reach the floor will they spawn on the ground or does it have to be there or or does the what could they spawn in water but does it just have to be closer they're not gonna spawn there i'm gonna take out the egg again and i think what we're gonna do hmm i think we're gonna have to put the spawner on the ground because it only spawns like where does it spawn? It spawned like, uh, if I put it two up, it spawns only one down. So if I put it uh, right above these, it should be fine. Oops, I didn't get it. Let's get that out of there before I accidentally click that. And let's get the slime sling back on. Okay, so if I just put it on top of the things, which I'm gonna actually get another block on it. Oops, uh, ba -ba -ba. let's get a block down there. Okay, so if I put it here in the middle, maybe it'll work. This is confusing. How do I set this up? So if they can still spawn in water and they only spawn like about a block down, I'm gonna put the spawner here, click on this, very high, very fast. The default range is fine. And I put the egg in. It should let them spawn in this room. Uh, let me just, uh, I, I mean, it's great to you to spawn there. But then we can put some water down still and it should work, I think. Like, this is just my idea right now. So I'm, I think this will work. I'm not 100% sure on that. At least these guys won't aggro on me. Should be fine. Um, but there we go. So these guys are going. There's quite a lot of them already. So let me put that down. And then let's get our last bucket in. Please don't push me down. There we go. So they're all going down there. Let's see if they still spawn once we get this down oh my god there's way too many i need you get out of the way there we go okay so now they should all be flowing down into the center and they should all be falling down a few of them are probably gonna get stuck on this block but that's kind of okay i think what actually i might do is just um if i had to if i did have to do that i would i would put the block there i'm gonna put a block here so i can get out um right here <laughs> so i can get out of here and then we're gonna just um bring the ceiling down on here since so they won't be able to fit uh so they can't spawn here or here that should be the plan that i don't know if it's working I, I think it is i think it's just because there's so many this isn't um, functioning just yet but if i go down here and i put down uh, a lava block and i get out of there it should work <laughs> Oh, that's loud. <laughs> okay, so closing that out, let's go down there and see how that functions because it might just work. Okay, <laughs> this looks like it's working. Oh, that's so sick. Look at all the iron. 
Oh my god. It's working. It's working. Oh, look at that. Can they light me on fire? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to block this off probably with, like I said, with glass. If I, if I still want to see this. But uh, I'm definitely gonna replace the floor with hoppers. I am gonna just do the hopper method for now. Because of course I can get a collector. But if I just do it with hoppers, it'll be fine and safe. You know, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. So let's get some hoppers in and let's just do this really quickly. That's the other chest. So three hoppers is good. Ooh, crack pots. <laughs> I'm gonna get a few hoppers in so we want hoppers probably going into something here so i'm probably going to want to put a block there first and then put the hopper there and then we're going to put them all funneling into this singular hopper so just to do it like that it should be worked out like that and we're going to just kind of funnel it into a chest probably or into um, a tesseract and then have it running into our system anyways so let's uh let's get that all set up and we should be good this is really really effective that's that's amazing in infinite iron already that's perfect <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I think I'm gonna have to turn this off. Um, it's probably gonna lag my game like crazy if I leave it on and leave. That's amazing. That's really, really good. Just enough beacons. Yeah, it's showing up from here. All right, well, it's not It's not gonna slow down anytime soon as long as it works. So we have more than enough iron that we're gonna need. So the good thing is that we can use iron now for decorative blocks if we really want to. So making them into like um, the big blocks and then looking at whatever they can make with chipped and stuff like that. That Now we can make decorative blocks for that, which is amazing. We can actually use these for buildings. So these are all the rechiseled items, which is very, very cool looking. Actually, I like these a lot. There's like pipes and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Um, but then, of course, we have chipped, which has even more. So even more for the iron block. And then, of course, we can use them for beacons, which is what we need later. So we can have infinite like uh, like wireless abilities for our, um, for our like inventory terminals. So I'm going to go turn this off <laughs> because I don't think it's a good idea to have it on all the time. I might even have to be lowering that sound in the recording, like in the edit. But uh, I'm going to go switch it off just so that doesn't happen anymore. I'm glad I figured out how to get it to work. Yeah, let's uh, go back upstairs and end the episode off because this is, it's probably not going to be a long one, but it's its an eventful one for sure. So let's put away all that iron and maybe we'll actually take quite a lot of it with us just so if we want to use it. So that's going to go in there and let's sort it. What do we need? What would, don't we need in here? But there we go. So while we were doing that, there is a lot of cherry logs that we've gotten in the process, which is really, really nice. Now we don't have to worry about a lot of that stuff. Let me get rid of some of these items in here as well that we don't particularly need. Um, like the, I'm going to get rid of the bundle and the just, I I don't want to get rid of all these building blocks because I like these and I want to use these, but I definitely don't need this much cobble. I'm going to be getting a lot more cobble later. So let's put a lot of that away. And I think this is, this is the end of the episode. I mean, like I'm very happy with how far we've gotten. We've gotten really, really far in doing this stuff. I mean, it's just, I, we have infinite iron, which is insane to me right now. Episode eight, we've gotten an iron golem spawn egg on our last golem, by the way. Like it was our, we got really lucky getting him on, on the last one, but we got it working. We had the thing already set up. We just had to go put it in. I'm glad I didn't accidentally clear it like the wrong way that would have been really bad but um it works it's great we have infinite iron that's amazing I'm so happy with it now we're getting farther and farther into the cherry log so in the next episode we might work with these into making the bigger tree so we'll see about that we'll see maybe we'll start actually building it or in the next two we'll actually go ahead and start building up that tree but let me harvest some of these we can probably do these of course with like you know an auto farm if we really want to or put them in the bonsai pots I don't think I need that many right now but bamboo is pretty good for scaffolding and probably some other stuff but yeah that's good let's uh put the spawner key away i need to make another slime sling at some point i'm gonna take uh these things and yeah let's just uh leave it at that i should probably actually what i'm gonna well i'll do it later but we should apply mending to all our items since we have farms for that now we can do it with the golems but i think it's a good idea to not do it with the golems i think if we can do it with the skeleton farm that'd be much better but it's a good thing that we can turn them on and off i really like the ability to do that so all our farms are here what we might do and i was kind of thinking against it is actually tearing this down and starting again and building a new house around this house I, we might do that make a much nicer looking house a much bigger one and something that can encompass everything that we need and what we have in this biome and make an actual bigger mega base in here of course it doesn't have to be our only one we can make a bunch of little houses and stuff in other areas and i would like to kind of do that just to practice building and stuff like that but i think we are going to probably tear this down in the next episode and actually get a new home set up for us so we do have cobblestone we do have all that stuff and like i, I say we have cobblestone because what we can do is go go into rechiseled here and go look at all 
these extra blocks. So looking at all this, which if we haven't looked at this yet, it has a bunch of different like things that we can build with. And this is just, you know, deep slate, cobble deep slate. And it looks so pretty once you get it through these things. I love this one. It looks so cool. And I love like some of these. These don't all, all connect the way that you want them to, but this is really nice. It's so clean looking. And then some of these don't connect. Like these ones just don't connect at all. Um, these ones don't either, but they naturally do kind of. So do these and these. This one's doesn't, but it looks kind of weird, but it's a pattern, right? But there's so many items that we can use and there's so many things that we can do with it. I'm very excited to actually play with this. And there's, there's pretty much just as many for cobble and there's mossy stuff for cobble, which actually makes these a lot nicer to use. I use a lot of these in uh, the All the Mods 9 series. I think I, I, I touched a lot of these mossy cobblestones ones. I use them for the um, Ars Nouveau section and I, I use this one in my in my, um, in my my AE2 section downstairs. This is These are very pretty. Oh, actually, no, these are also up there. Uh, no, these are not in the AE2 section. The AE2 section, you use something else. You used um, stone instead of cobblestone. That's why they look different. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's honestly great. I love doing this. It's so much fun. This is going to work out really well. So we have these many logs, which looks like a lot, but I have a feeling that it's not enough. I just have like that suspicion that it's not going to be enough for the actual tree, but it should be enough for most of the tree. So I probably will do that within the next episode or two, because I think there's enough to do that. Um, but let's get some rest and let's we'll get off here in a second. All right. But yeah, I think I think this is it. I think it's a good spot to end it in here in this little house that might get torn down quite soon. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. This was episode eight, I believe. And this has been great. I'm really, really enjoying this. I cannot wait to record the next episode. I'm going to probably do that tomorrow. And uh, we're getting some good progress. We have infinite iron. We can just turn on the machine whenever we want to. We can turn it off, which is actually great for, for lag and things like that if I really want to fix that. But it's, it's so amazing. I love the little dolphin on my head too. I'm glad we got that from the spawners. That's amazing. So we can also farm hats from the spawners if we really want to. Probably the golems do too. It's just uh, there's less golems. They, they take a little longer to die. This is going really well. I'm really excited to actually keep playing because I can really decorate and do whatever I want with this. But I would really love to set up a bigger storage system. And I know exactly how I want to do it. I just need to make a storage room. So that's why I really want to make a bigger base because I want the more room from this. And of course we have this area below us with the farms and I would love to build the base above it. Some kind of big like mansion or or something I don't know something fun that would be interesting to build here maybe not like a big mega mega base but something very interesting to do so we'll see I, I don't know I don't know what the plan is I don't know what the style is gonna be but um I love this biome it's gonna be very fun to tear down this place and actually start again so I'm very excited to do that so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I will see you all in the next one if you enjoyed consider subscribing and sticking around and I will see you in the next one hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys then bye